So when you look at a geological map of Pennsylvania, and on this map different colors represent different age rocks, you have very little, very few rocks that were formed during the age of dinosaurs. And they'd be down here in the southeast in this green band. We call this the Nork group. But there are no dinosaur bones that have been found in this, uh, this section of rock through here. The rest of the state is older, much older rocks through the Appalachians and off to the west. So no dinosaurs, but plenty of other kinds of interesting fossils. So Pennsylvania is a great place for paleontology, but not so much for dinosaur age stuff. There are also trackways, uh, footprints that have been found throughout this section of Pennsylvania. And some of them are from dinosaurs very early in the age of dinosaurs, Triassic age material. So, so geological layers are, are deposited unequally across the surface of the earth. They're generally deposited on the margins of the continents and in big delta and stream systems and things. And New Jersey, for example, right out here, has deposits from the eroding Appalachians from the Cretaceous period, the age of dinosaurs. So there's plenty of those deposits just in this part of New Jersey. Now, those deposits certainly overlapped part of Pennsylvania, but those have been eroded away. So that's what's tricky. Not every place on the earth is a pile of rock that represents every age. And even if it was, a lot of it would be eroded away because of the mountain building and the erosion that comes from that, the shifting of continents and all that sort of thing. New Jersey absolutely does have dinosaurs that are found in these deposits out here that would have been living on the land out here. In fact, the, the deposits in New Jersey actually are shallow seaway deposits. And so it is likely that some of the skeletons, and I can show some of them to you, are things that died on land and washed down streams and were deposited in like bays and estuaries and that kind of thing.